Scratch, what one? All my viewers, all my subscribers out in the world, hope you all doing well. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell if you haven't as yet. So we have coming up in the topics, Beanie Man, first week sales are in. Yes, people, we're gonna get into that. Also, we're gonna feature Massacre over in the UK. Plus, we see Footer Hype exposing some promoters along with his promoter friends, saying that them now book him just because of some non-straight people. It's like Footer Hype I say, the promoters them claim say them straight well one book Footer Hype but just because them shaky friends are go vex, them no bother. Yes people so we're gonna get into that plus we see Peter Metro send this message to General B. Also we see Ari Tadler put out something about Boombox Fridays today and General B warned about legal action already so we're gonna see about that. Plus we see Popcorn seemingly clapping back right here at people who are saying that he bad mind Valiant. People stay tuned, we also have more coming up. Yo! Reggae Media TV, Father Dan, everything we bad, and we mother Dan, everything we mad. So Beanie Man album Sima, the independent studio album, has sold 500 units in the US during its first week. Yes people, the album which did not make it to the Billboard Reggae Albums chart has sold 700 units over its lifetime including previously released singles. Of that amount, 100 pure copies of physical of downloads were sold and 1.6 million on demand streams during its first week and 1.7 million over its lifetime. Sima follows Beanie Man last album dropped 2016 Unstoppable which spent 6 weeks on the US Billboard Reggae Albums chart and peak at number 3. So check out Masika right here over in the UK, his performance earlier today. Masika also set to perform at another event in the UK on Sunday. So veteran artist Peter Metro revealed this what took place after General B got off the stage is like him or say a him basically save General B life outside when he got attacked yes people and also remind General B what he told him before now go mix up in the bangarang you know when me take my eye and see me see but a one thing I want tell General B say member you know General you are the one where you used to say Peter Metro me I watch you from in the 80s, you're my artist. And all of a sudden, you don't chat to me again. You burn me out. Me not do you nothing. Where you burn me out for? Chew me at the rubber dove. Chew me at the dance hall Thursday. Even there is a man, big youth. You tell him, say, me take where your style. That's big youth, I say. And we style you take. Me say, me no know. God is an original dance hall. There is someone ask me, me say, me no know. And you, you know, talk to me again. And you see what happened when I, probably if it wasn't Peter Metro and Josie Wheel, brother. Because when you run around the car, the youth, two of them have two iron chairs go go so. Drop in a... No! I'm an idea in um, Josie jo jo Wheel, brother, name, uh, Daddy Shard. I'm put him up front and say, and him said, no, you can't do that to my artist. Saying, but me just assure you, me love you the same way because if we did love that man there, probably, probably, I'll know you wouldn't be here. But big up yourself, General B. Me still love you the same way. This is original dance all Thursday. So, General B already warned Harry Tadler about Boombox Friday, saying that 
if the show continue under the same name without him, he might clap back with a lawsuit. Yes people, earlier today we see Ari Tadler put out this video announcing Boombox Fridays is set for later. So basically the show is on people. And God I wrote about you and work. Today are Friday. And everybody know what Ari Tadler do on Friday. Boombox to say. People today's boombox. So if you have found a boombox, you know so we now use no bar. No bar at boombox. 45 shootout tonight, EJ Adley versus Fire Bigs Uptown. People boombox tonight. Yeah, I know the location. God damn good right? No And me your general be a talk for the interview say if Ari ever feel like say him can't do nothing with boombox last out and eat him rast, alright? Go back, boom back, say you back. Yeah, one. I remember saying right. the two go, man every name they're on the list, and they're on the paper. Right. Right. So a lot of fans and musicians reacting after 27 year old Afrobeats singer Mobad passed away recently of unknown causes. The artist's family confirmed reports of his passing via his Instagram page saying he is finally at peace while asking for privacy as they process the tragedy. Right here we see Burna Boy and the Rygin King just to name a few. People react to his passing, you know, we see Rygin King post, my brother, I don't believe this, call me and make me know you're okay fam, with some crying emoji right there. Yes people also, Burna Boy, a video right here with him making rounds showing the singer reaction on Instagram live when he quickly noticed fans started commenting RIP Mo Bad. So the Rasta who actually pushed General B off the stage right here he's showing proof that General B actually f***ed him while he was backstage. So nobody would have pushed General B. General B, you don't start the show. Yeah, people. The man at the bar, cut him up and make him shoot him. Yeah. Yeah. So I now say, Gina, get cut. What do you do? So right here, after Popcorn put this out, a lot of people believe he's sending a message to Valiant and that style. <laughs> So based on the lyrics in the song, the first person I go come to mind of Valiant, yes. Based on how it sound is like popcorn I say, oh him fe bad mind and him richer than the whole of uno, uno ungrateful. Yes people, just the other day we see a lot of people coming at popcorn saying that him bad mind Valiant and it's like we know Valiant was a part of popcorn camp before the artists them go through them difference right about now. We see all the shit that show over social media. So you know Futa Hype blatantly him always about out people who are not straight. It's like Futa Hype no support it at all, especially when you come out in public yes people are endorse them type of behavior there so right here is like Futa hype sending this towards all the promoters who are not booking him because he always burn out them type of lifestyle there yes people the gating and all of that so right here we see Futa hype input this out saying the tables have definitely turned in this era when you're straight you're the enemy so many of my so-called friends and family disassociate themselves from me because they want to be accepted by the gay community so many promoters who claim to be straight who want to book footer hype but just true them non-straight friend I go vex them no bother laughing emoji just member say indirectly oh no no straight you hear and no say even if a sauce of dumpling and butter are banana and oil my god nah make me suffer got s on a mother straight forever even after death yes people so that is what footer i put out because some promoters them nah use him you know over the whole thing where him go put out saying that him burn out certain type of lifestyle and him nah pretty up nothing right here yes people so let me know what y'all think about 
that. Bless up on yourself, people. Guidance, protection. Until next time, I'm out. Yo, Reggae Media TV, Father Dan, everything we bad. And we mad at Dan, everything we mad. Subscribe now. You hear that?